Because Moons works in the infrared, I said we're looking at heat, this creates a whole bunch of engineering challenges, particularly around cryogenics. So the best way of imagining this is if you're in the house at night time, you're trying to look out the window and the lights are on inside the house, you only see your own reflection, you can't see out. To see out, you've got to make things dark inside, you turn the lights off. We have to do the same thing in the infrared, but here we're talking about heat. So our version of turning the lights off is making it cold. And when I talk about cold, I mean extremely cold. This has to be colder than the things you're looking at. So we're talking about minus, over minus 100 degrees Celsius. This is absolutely frozen inside. So everything that we build has to work at those kind of temperatures. Everything inside this spectrograph behind me has to work at those low temperatures. This has a whole bunch of challenges. Not only do we have to make the entire structure and everything inside that temperature in the first place, and now keep in mind, Moons is very big, so it's about eight tons of material that we have to bring down to those incredibly low temperatures. Then once you have everything at low temperature, anything we've got inside there, all the metal starts to shrink, all the glass starts to shrink. We have to make sure all that shrinkage is correct, otherwise you risk damaging things. Um, we have to make all our mechanisms, all our motors, all our um, linear slides work at those low temperatures. And generally speaking, anything you think of that is like an oil or a lubricant at room temperature tends to form a glue when it goes cold. So everything has to be very, very custom, very specific. And then an additional level on top of all of that is we have to position all our optics very precisely together. We're talking fractions of a millimeter in the right place. As I mentioned, everything shrinks when it goes cold. So what we have to do warm is put everything very accurately in the wrong place so that when we go cold, everything ends up accurately in the right place. And that's just kind of one of the aspects of the engine that we have to deal with.